Welcome to this series where we are playing Transport Fever 2. In this part, I want to do two things. The first thing is I want to set up a airline because I think I've got a good opportunity, which will then lead into the second thing that I want to do, which is level up the remaining towns that I've got. I think we've got everything now. The only problem we've got now is Immingham, Blandford Forum and Nuneaton because I've actually managed to level up uh Birkenhead here by actually extending the railway out to here now the reason I extended the railway out to here off camera is that uh the airline we're going to set up is from Birkenhead to Ewingham and now before we go any further I'd like to say a big thank you for your comments and feedback as usual you guys give me a lot to think about and I think one of the problems that when you play on a medium map is the space is quite limited and some uh, options which look good aren't good on a medium map. Now, if we're playing on a large map or very large map, um, aircraft is um, is probably more useful. But of course, one problem with aircraft, which I'll be talking about later on, is planning the airports without um, whilst trying to avoid pollution. But before that, I just want to give you a bit of an update because I did get a suggestion from Snafu about upgrading my ships. If I can find a port, because we have progressed a little bit, there's the port up here. Um, because what we've got here, if I come into here, he said about I'm using these vintage steam trains here. Now we have got these river boats, which are actually slower than the the steamer. And this is one, one of the problems that just because you move forward and you get better ships, they may not be as good as the ones you're actually using now. And you can see also that these tow boats, while they ca they they carry a little bit more than, than the actual uh, steamer, they're not so versatile because they only carry a single cargo because they've got they've only got one compartment. And, and it's also worth noting that if I go to the large ships, that the situation is worse because we've got a dedicated uh, fuel tanker, and then we've got this ship here which is carries even less so just because it's new doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually better and another example of that is the if we find a rails depot this should be one down here is that if we come into here and look at the vehicles here we've now got our multiples now this looks very attractive it does 125 kilometers an hour and it it carries 20 people and it's very easy to say oh yeah i want that but the trouble is if you if you start piling up these remember you're adding 451,000 maintenance for each uh, of these multiples so if you put three multiples in you're talking about a, a, tr a line maintenance of 1.5 million per sh per um train and this is where this game can catch you out. And if you look down in the bottom left, you see I've got a great big pile of money, which is still growing. But if you if you wreck something, it's very easy for that money to disappear very, very quickly. One odd thing I've found is that we don't have any diesel trains. And I would have thought by now, in 1943, we'd actually have diesel trains. We've got some electric trains, which uh, I'm still not really convinced because this one's only got a top speed of 75. This one's worth 100. But I think its tractive effort is low. So we're still stuck with steam trains at the moment. Although I think maybe that one might be a bit better. But it's still 1.49 million. But of course the limiting factor is actually the wagons. Because there's no point buying a fast train if, if the top speed is only 80 kilometers an hour. And I think we've got a little way to go before we actually get a faster vehicles. And that also applies to passenger trains, although we do have a potential upgrade for the Flying Scotsman, which I put in because we've got these wagons now, which can do 120, where, where I think at the moment we are using these. And then the other um, element is, if I find a vehicle depot here, is that we've got some new trucks and down here but again this is where you've got to be a bit careful because uh, these trucks are only 60 kilometers an hour that's the top speed of all our trucks at the moment but you can see that these new trucks that they're they're okay but they're something they actually carry less than these but it's pretty marginal 
So we can work around this area here. And of course, in the long term, some of our, maybe our shipping routes, even some of our train routes will be replacing with trucks. Because as in real life, where as the trucks technology gets better and their carry capacity improves, it's more can be more effective to actually move stuff by trucks. Now, while we're actually here, I just want to show you uh, another example of what I talked about in the previous video. Now, in the previous video, I was talking about leak through where the game can actually find routes and that can work to detriment. But sometimes it actually works for advantage because what's actually happening here is that what if we come into um, here, it says, I mean, there's nothing on this line at the moment, but what's actually happening is the trucks are moving uh, the machine tools up to here. So Birkenhead is actually getting a small delivery of machine tools courtesy of this route here. And I didn't plan that. That was just literally the game deciding that um, that it found a path to deliver to here. So, but it's a small amount, but it's made a difference because you can see coupled with the station here, Birkenhead is now expanded and is now demanding uh, materials and tools. And we will be looking at that. But the first thing I want to do is put in an airport. Now, airports in this game, uh, I, I have to admit, I'm not the greatest fan of them because one, they're quite difficult to make a profit from because of their low carry capacity and also that they do create a heck of a lot of pollution. And the only way you can really make a profit from them in, uh, in using cargo is if you've got a very strong bi-directional uh, carry capacity. But you can make profit from them with passengers as long as you're careful. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an, an air bridge from Birkenhead to Immingham because um, Immingham down here is a little bit isolated and I don't think we're ever going to get it to grow to get its full requirements of products unless we can get far better destinations. Because I'll show you the destinations here. You can see it's not connected to um, Ongar, Birkenhead, Erith, I and Gainsborough. So what I'm hoping is that if I can put a connecting airport in up to Birkenhead, that will put it connect the people from Immingham, the rail line, which will then take them to I and Gainsborough. Uh, anyway, that's the theory. Now comes the fun part because we're going to put an uh, airport. We might as well start down here. And you see, at the moment we've only got small airports, and you get a cargo one uh, and, and a passenger here I think this is the let me just um, do that again that's the cargo one now this is misleading because you can add cargo to a passenger airport so which one you choose first is not particularly that important now one thing you've got to remember when you place airports is the aircraft always land left to right when you look this way round with the buildings and they will curve round over built over built up areas now they won't go off the edge of the map as well so what we're going to have to try and so placing this is going to be a little bit tricky i'd like to put it about here but at the same time i would like i think what we're going to have to do is we're going to try and place it oops and then maybe we might adjust this once we can see the route. Now, what you can do is I want to put this there about there. This is going to cost 4 million. What we most likely will do is remove these and put a proper station in. Now, as you can see here that the moment this is not connected, but what we can do, we come into a configuration. We put a, I think we can get away with to the terminal there um, and then if we put a road because we're not going to extend this station I've made that executive decision hopefully we put a I can't this should connect if it's not uh, oh I know why haha <laughs> used the wrong one hit remove I think we actually need a main building actually I think it's the main building that's actually got the 
the footpath connections. I think this should work. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's the main building that will do that. And what that will do is, oops, see here now, that gives us a connection to this airport here. Now, if we go up to Birkenhead, use the Now, this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky because I want to connect, to connect to this kind of passenger exchange terminal here. But, uh, let me just see. We've got to be careful because if we come too far this way, the aircraft could be turning around over Erith. And I think what we're going to do is, we're, is there any buses on this road? No, good. We're going to straighten out this bit here. And I think we're... We'll actually upgrade this and we're gonna come there there and then we're gonna put uh, an airport in here and again as I said it's left to right so I would like to do if possible is Put the airport about there. What should happen is the aircraft should come in this way, take off and go up in that direction. That's the theory anyway. <laughs> and we'll pick that up. And now we can, yeah, we've got a connection here. Just put in the new route. You can see straight away the way the aircraft see the aircraft coming round here and going out that way. You can see that the aircraft coming in here would be very close to Erith. But more importantly, this is something you do need to be aware of that you don't point the airport at, at a town because then the aircraft will take off over the town and they do create noise um, when they're actually um, flying over. Um, urban areas as well so you do need to be a little bit careful the tricky bit is going to be here because we're very close to the edge of the map oh haha <laughs> we might have got away with that because this is the reason why i was trying to push the airport down here so immigrant may get some pollution but there's not much i can do about it so uh there's air um, work, work in to uh, Immingham. So we've now got this area here. And of course, airports are different from all the other modes of transport in the sense that you buy the airport, the, the vehicles at the each airport. Now there's a little bit of a trick that we can do. Uh, if we get a passenger, we've got the you've got ten, we've got two two compartments. Um I think we I think we'll buy a Douglas uh thing. Now there's one thing you can do if you if you buy one at this end, like that. Or assign you to there. And then if we go up to the other end, because I want two aircraft on this route, you can see the lines cross over there. If you buy an aircraft each end, there's no guarantee that they will stay. Uh, make sure, right one. And then we buy another one at this end, the sign you there. Come out. What you will see is that we, in theory, we've got an aircraft at each end, but they should now fly separately. Now, of course, this route is going to take a little while to actually pick up, simply because it's, uh, well, <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a pain. So we've now got this area here. Now, what I'm also considering is um, strengthening this route between Birkenhead and uh, uh, Erith here. 
so the idea is is that what will happen is that if we get more passengers moving between the, these two places here we might be able to get a decent line here anyway and you can see i think what we might do now again i don't think the demand in birkenhead is very high at the moment for materials it's only eight and four we can't it's going to be difficult to justify a goods train also where is the resources here and this is where you've got to be very careful oh, of course it's got to be on the wrong side of the town <laughs> um because this is going to be the residential area so this road we're gonna to have to kind of come how far out is the residential area we've got a possible entry point there um I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if we can get the Birkenhead to grow a bit more. We have got an industry, a tool industry here. Now, one thing I problem you do have with medium maps and especially this map is that we have got enhanced demand, but the problem is we don't have enough industries to supply everybody. And that can be a bit of a problem. And eventually we're going to have to make decisions over who gets what in order to keep the town sizes because of course the important thing to remember about this game is it's not about creating mega towns it's actually more about actually uh but it's more about actually making profit because you're running a transport company and just to give you an overview of that uh, of course air birkenhead will take a little while to go so this is obviously is going to lose money for a little while all our shipping lines at the moment are making money which is another reason why i don't really want to mess about with them just yet because you can see that they're all carrying mixed cargo um with multiple compartments so at the moment those those um new ships aren't really much use uh we've got uh, a couple of routes that are still making money we've got this folding crop farm uh two I do wonder um, whether we actually do need. I think this is Spalding Crop Farm, isn't it? I think I might need to adjust these um, crop lines at the moment, eventually. Uh, right, we're just going to let the game run, see if we can generate some business. Um, I think I am going to work on that route between, actually, let me just look around and see if we can look for some opportunities to improve our routes. Now, up here in the last part, we made some changes here. Gainsborough Farm 2. Ooh, I wonder where that farm is. That could be interesting because, um, uh, let me just see. It's a bit of a distraction, I know. Okay, we've got another farm here. Oh, now this could be useful because we we need four, four farms at the moment. We're pulling crops from here, and we got this horrible long route here with little trucks on. I mean, it's making money, but I, I'm kind of thinking that if we can actually bring in some more trains to here the only problem we may have is i don't know we we don't have that many trains on this route i, I think we could we can make some money here um, <laughs> um let me just see we can get a terminus station in here going to be a bit tricky that's not okay we've got a Douglas DC if I can get that in there like that what we can do we got a coal mine here I mean we keep getting these raw items but 
and if we can, we can put in track now we've got high speed track here um i can't remember what the upper limit i think the upper limit for this is um 120 this is 300 but i think at the moment we don't really need to justify i think if we can get this line working We go a few rounds. Nice long curve in around here. I mean, these roads aren't important because, uh, as far as I know, we're not going to do anything. Oh, just keep extending it 120. Look at that. Wow. Oops. Uh, we can. Why won't that connect? Okay. One's obviously a bit lower, but okay. So if we can bring this one online, then we could then get rid of that long route and more importantly what i'm hoping is that if that farm then suddenly disappears i'm hoping that we may actually get another industry um appear what was it what size station did i put down 68 i think what we will do is which remove this button this back and we are going to make this station a little bit longer bigger platforms this should add another 40 meters to the so what we might be able to do is have some longer trains coming in, in and out of here Because we are going to need to be thinking a little bit about um, extending some of our platforms. So I'm going to get you there. Where's the depot? Where did I put the other depots up over there? That's good. Oh, of course, so the depot I built here, I removed, didn't I? New line. <coughs> Gainsborough sidings and I think for the moment we're just run you in on the same platform it's going in on the other platform but I don't like that that one will you gains for uh, new farm Trains are we running here? This looks like yeah. We're running BR fifty threes. I think it might be time for an upgrade on the train. And they're running. What's he running? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where's the terminal? Right, we've got. Now we're running short of trains, so we do need to get. And then we're going to buy. I mean, this is again another thing where this game actually pushes you, in the sense that you're um, you're you're losing the old trains, which are um, a little bit cost effective. That like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven. I think we'll go with elevens. We're buying two of those. And we're assign you to Gainsborough New Farm. Of course, um, what those guys will go out. Now again, it's going to take a little while for here because we've now got Gainsborough Farm 2. But what I want to do now 
is the roots the which one is it I can't remember what root which one are you to here okay manage vehicle what we're gonna gonna do is I'm gonna scale this um, route back a long way it's only moving 198 so uh, I'm gonna remove half the vehicles from here and then and what that will mean is that the other train should take over and be a little bit more efficient. Okay, we'll just sell you a lot. Again, run. What that should do is allow the game make the necessary adjustments and without disrupting the food supply too much. Well, that's the theory anyway. Um, suppliers. Let's just go and see. Again, we'll just have to let this line run for a little while. In fact, one thing I do need to do is tell these guys to the line a bit. Um, the line manager, Gainsborough sidings. Loaded. I think this time we're actually going to push this up a little bit. Five minutes. This is where this disappears and we get some industry here that will hopefully as this will develop then we will make some money. Do you wonder how much money is this route making? 1.5 million. How many trains have I got on this route now? So I think it's time to upgrade these. Uh, what we're going to do is just remove you and you and we're going to add you and you to that line and I think what we'll do is uh, just extend the cargo capacity as well on both of them so they can carry a little bit more the extra cargo capacity should actually offset some of the costs of the new trains you can see here at the moment we're maybe not carrying as much as we should do yeah it's 96 percent at the moment again we may have to extend this platform eventually as well so that it will carry more cargo that's how you pay for the new trains okay uh, but of course eventually we will need to what are you doing here doing in this line there are... a bit confused over why are you why are you um we shouldn't be stopping it in Gainsborough North anymore and we certainly don't want the waypoint that's better <laughs> um, there's absolutely no reason why they need to stop here because they've got nothing to drop off because those routes are dead yeah 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 we still got a little bit of stretch on this platform here um, Pliers. Yeah. Uneaten now demands food. Now that could be interesting. Um, okay. Right. We just go to. I'm going to drop in on Birkenhead on the way down to Nuneaton. So, right, we're actually getting a few people waiting here. You can see 21. Wow. That's picked up quite quickly. Picked up a lot quicker than I thought it would. Um, 154. So, and uh, uh, Birkenhead is growing. Um, is this is our route making money? Wow, it looks like we may have to 
actually add um, some extra train uh, aircraft. Sorry. And while we're now it's at the roots actually had a bit of chance to run. Let me just show you. See the horrible footprint from the air pollution. And it's kind of coming in here. You can just see the curve. See the curve? See the aircraft coming in? And we'll go and check Immington on the way to Nuneaton. Um, let me just see. If he's picking up everybody. Yeah, we're, we're going to need another aircraft here. I'll just let him get off the ground and then we're in another aircraft. I mean, we got, I think this is. I'll find the DC 10. He's got 15 passengers. 364. That's 490,000. I think we're just buying another one of these. And we'll just get you to that. Yeah, third airline there. Right, let's just go down to Immingham. Um, just want to show you the pollution here. Hopefully, we've got this cracked. <laughs> Not so many people here, but. Hopefully, Immingham will be growing. Um, it says 266. So we are getting a little bit of a spike from here, but. Um, yeah, oh, it's a bit close. See the approach line here. If I push this up too far, the aircraft would have been coming in over Immingham. But I think I've got away with it there. Right, Nuneaton. Um, we, where's Nuneaton? Uh, there it is. Oh, we got fuel. <laughs> this fuel is going to be a real problem because we've only got the one fuel factory and that's virtually almost at maximum supply already. Right, so Nuneaton, we've got the route here. I think we're going to need to work on this route here. Nuneaton goods and passengers. Okay, let me just skip up now because we've got a food supply here but i think at the moment i'm running restrictions so we need spalding freight um oh you can load you can load bread here okay um i didn't think that was set Did i set bread there it doesn't make sense Night in freight here and unload anything. Okay, so it looks like we may actually get some flow through here already. Okay. So we've already got bread on there. Alright. That should come down here. I think we're gonna have to look need to take a look at these trains. And do think about the passenger line here maybe get a bit of extra capacity on them and we've got Nuneaton here um Nuneaton getting any get an entirely amount of food here so it's actually being delivered by these trucks isn't it okay let me just see where is the demand for Oh, we've got a tiny little bit of bread there. So, uh, Nuneaton goods delivery should cover that area there. But I don't think I actually need to do anything because there's no restriction on what these guys can carry. This is one of the possible upsides with these delivery routes is that if you can do it, but not that the this train fits exactly on this route um, I need some goods and passengers let me just look at the line what have we got here you've got an A305 you've got an A305 
Um, I think I've up upgraded this line recently. I don't think we can make it much better, but we're going to need to look at this area to see. I think I upgraded it to improve the level of tools. A bit worried about trains like that running. Yeah, this line is train is running at a loss. Um, okay. but it's we're overall we're making money. Okay, <laughs> so we've got that is working. Um, like I said, fuel is going to be none eaten. It's just gone down again. It's dropped down again, so it's gonna it's right on the cusp at the moment. The so nun eaten needs a little bit of an sh extra shove. Um, is there any way we can improve like the, the transport system in here? Have a look at that. What's the coverage like? The moment we got kind of a little tram route running around here, but the town has expanded this way. I'm wondering what is the routes here? They look a bit kind of weird. Um, we just see We've got that route running there. Um, what type of trams are we running here? Well, we've got some pretty archaic trams, tra trams on here. I do wonder if we electrify this. Because you're going out round there. I think maybe if we just electrify the track because these actually oh no it's electrified so okay maybe we'll just um give these are uh... i don't know they're not carrying that many people i think the only thing we can do at the moment is just leave naneaton to its own devices unless we can prove we need more the game we got this problem that um it's saying 106, but I'm pretty sure if we come over to um, our tool factory, our goods factory, so not our tool factory. Um, where's the tool factory? There's 60, the 100%. And if we look at our machine tool factory, The 61 um, and I think we got the coverage because the place isn't that big the only thing that I can tell you is the fact that these are pale yellow the supply rating 50% I do wonder see this is this is machines delivery. I'm just wondering if I push this out a little bit further. To give see because we've got a lot of coverage here, but not so much coverage there. And I just wonder if say for, we'll, we'll give this a go because I'm not too sure about things. But what I'm going to do is we're going to put you there, pick you up there. See, for some reason this guy is going all up round there for some reason. That's Victoria Road. Where's New Road? New Road's over there. Um, say we add you station, and then to Victoria Road. What that should do is kind of tidy that line up a little bit. I'm not sure if that's going to make any difference. But uh, uh, get rid of you. Hopefully that might just push up Nuneaton a little bit. Anyway, let's just get back to... Oh, the other thing is... Where's my Flying Scotsman? It's on this route here. How much money are you making? Making three million um, managed vehicles. 
what we got here what's the capacity right i'm just gonna what i'd like to do because at the moment this i mean again this is going to be a little bit of a experiment because the moment we're using these wagons which means that we're limiting the capacity of the train and what i'd like to do is use these because these can do 120 so we're gonna one two three four five six one two three four that give us 120 on 141 train i think if we can we might lose a bit of capacity but i think if we run a faster surface actually we'll that's 161 i think we can afford to do that and we uh, just go here this is of course part of the fun of playing transport fever 2 is that you're playing with a digital train set um, let me just see how fast the train will get to now Look at that. 140, we left a few behind, but that's okay because we're going to be traveling a lot faster now. Now, this is a good example of how long these trains can take to actually get up to speed from a standing start. You can see, so he's just yes, he's losing speed here. So there's a possibility that he's not really going to get up to 120 kilometers an hour. And I've got a nice long run here. Um, it's just got over 100 uh, kilometers an hour, 110, 114. Uh, slowing down, he's coming into where it was this. This is Blanford Forum. Mm -hmm. And everyone's got off, uh, got some more getting back on, and away we go again. Oops, we got uh, some digital particles um, clogging up. Uh, uh, I think eventually we're going to have to separate the goods lines from the passenger lines, but that's going to be fun. Um, got that little bit, I'm kind of not that happy with that bit there. And so, right, we've got over 100 kilometers here. This is a nice long run, straight run. They might reach 120, that 120 kilometers an hour. And so he's really pushing forward now, providing that express service. And let me just come into here. One gets off, a few more gets back on again. Got 100. And away we go again. Let's see how fast he's going to pick up on this. He's got a bit of an upslope here. Which won't help with the acceleration. The, the downslope should kind of push things along a little bit. And of course we, we should have a long run all the way through now to um, London. So we don't stop at Erith. And we just blast straight through. The express goes through the station. Um, we're losing speed on the curves here. That depression is not... don't like that depression at all. And of course, we're, another problem is that the train in front only can do 100 kilometers now. So we're losing speed on that as well. Okay. Problem here. Let's see. You should be able to. I'll put signal there. Okay. Not much I can do about that. Oops. Oh, 75% loading. We're going to need to extend this platform. The platform's too short. There's two carriages out, so we need another about 80 meters on this platform. Uh, we'll, we'll fix that in a minute. <clears throat> I 
and that's probably cost us a bit of money um, we're running through into here that's the distance on this platform platform is just about in there okay. right we need to extend this platform let me just take a look at this station it's one two three four lengths isn't it it's four lengths one two three four it's just about fits now if we go back to london we can't have the this line here so this is three lengths i think you'll find the we got one two three we what we need to do is take off delete that yes i know thank you game for complaining uh, uh, what's that the problem we're going to have now now this is an express line now um what we'll start with is this tracks we're gonna run you there and run you into there i right, just look at the terminal setup here so uh Aerith is coming into there the spalding Gainsborough Express going up that way and the platform one it's got to be haha <laughs> um okay um we're gonna have to put a line in here because like that tools now we've got a potential problem here with the fact that um let's just look at the Gainsford line um what was it yeah this one's coming into here I don't like that um, I think we're going to have to switch the platforms here. Gainsford Central. What platform are you coming into? Can't move you to there. I'll get you to there. Um, still coming in and out of there um okay central um i mean technically the expresses aren't that common Uh, I think what we might do in the long term is actually um, maybe cut you back to uh, Gainsborough because Gainsborough, you are going all the way to I. In fact, I think that we will. Um, Gainsborough here. Now, I think at the moment we've only got two long range expresses but i think eventually what we might do if we don't get if we, if we get any problems because we've got the flying scotsman's are coming through so this in some ways this line is a little bit redundant um I mean, strictly speaking now, we actually don't need this crossover. 
Let's just take that out. That will tidy up this room. Yeah, because you can come into there. You've got no through line here. Okay, we're just going to leave it like that for the moment. But I, th I think long term, uh, the the Birkenhead I Gainsborough route will stop at Gainsborough. And then we'll use expresses to get the distance. And while we're here, okay, shipment. Okay, so this is right. It's time now to see this up here and uh, put suppliers Gainsborough Farm to Birkenhead Farm. Right. What we're going to do is dump this thing through here. Um, come here. Manage miracles. Select all. Sell them. Um, manage line. Move line. Yes. Um, delete this. Now, the idea is that this will, uh, what I'd like eventually is for this one to possibly fade away. And what will happen is that the one over here will pick up the slack. So we'll end up with four um, tumors. What should happen now is these guys, should, this should get busier. This should carry more. Um, are we actually making any profit on this line here? Nuneaton needs fuel. <laughs> um, we're not really making a profit at the moment, but hopefully that will build up over time. Now I've done it. Um, Nuneaton's going to be a bit of a pain in the neck, but not much we can do about it. Gainsborough. Um, still need to work on developing Gainsborough. I would certainly like to start looking at upgrading the tram lines here. Uh, I think what we might need to do is now look, work on getting some tools and other stuff into Birkenhead. I think we can do it. We got here. How many people hit? Wow, 31. Okay. I think maybe we're just going to add another aircraft to this route. Um, although we could upgrade to these. Which is the difference? 100,000. How much money are we making off this route? Um, Nuneaton need to mance foods. So yes, thank you again, Nuneaton. Making a million at the moment. Um, I think at the moment we're just buy another aircraft. Actually, um, the Douglas DC-3 and we'll just sign you to well right uh, and we're actually I just had a thought it's going to be a little bit eccentric but I just wonder if I can improve the I mean Nuneaton is growing. Birkenhead is growing. It's grown a lot better than Nuneaton, actually. Um, oh, a bit of a heavy landing there. Um, what are you doing here? Let's have a look at charts. Finances. You've got potential route here. Let me just see. Where does this route actually go? Um, because I've just had a thought comes in here, it goes up through there and uh, here is a bus route I just kind of had half an idea um, people here there's What's the top speed of these things? They're not very quick. We've got eight vehicles here. I just thought, um, right, I'm going to go for it, guys. Um, we're going to get 
um I'm track electric. I'm gonna find this route. Yeah. What am I on? This is eighty kilometers an hour. Um let's, let me just think about this. Um we don't have a tram track over here. I just want to look at something before I go and do anything else. Um, because what I'm thinking is 60. Because what we're going to have is an inter-town tram route, I think. Which we hopefully will do things in sector here. Where did the route go from here? This, uh... It goes through there, there, and there. Okay. So. There. 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 Um, this is okay. On here, a bit of a squiggle. Let me just pause the game. We got a bus on this route. Okay, we need to get a bus. The bus off of this route. Pause very, very quickly. Worried about the car. Wow. Great, dead straight run there. Any buses on this route? Can't see any, so we're just taking this out as well. Um, actually, we're you out there. Uh, just run a dead straight route there. Pick off the trams, you up there. Okay, just let the game run. Electric. And then uh, that gives us a tram route there. What we're going to need to do is, whoops, um, put a tram station in. Put, we'll probably put the tram station about here. Just do it about there. Now, the capacity of this line. Um, you can carry 11 people. Um, right, let me just see. We've got air off the parking head. You've got eight vehicles. Um, I'm not sure if we can do this, but I'm just going to give it a go. Um, <laughs> we buy some vehicles. I've never done this before, guys, so... Earth to Birkenhead. Okay. So we've actually got a combination route. I never knew you could do that. And then what we do is error Birkenhead manage vehicles. And then what we can do is remove some of these. Actually, we'll remove all of them. And we'll just give the tram a follow. 60 kilometers an hour, look at that. I think the trams are actually faster than the buses. And what that should do is give a nice strong route between the two um, towns. I don't think the trams ever go faster than 60 kilometers an hour, but then again, we tell, well, we've got a Bristol, um, Bristol freighter. 
Now that's a possible opportunity. Um, nobody waiting to pick up here. Go on, game. I mean, we might be able to expand this route a little bit later. Um, you can see, because we're going through the town now. Things, things are a little bit slower. Um, so it's going to take a little while for the um, the game to learn the fact that we've got another connecting route here that's going to go a bit faster than the local buses. And now we've got tram route in here, actually. What I might be doing is eventually putting a tram round it as well. So we got all passengers here. And that should generate some demand. Just let them go back to see where these people are actually going. Whether they're going to go all the way to Birkenhead or whether they're just travelling back into Erith. Hmm. Probably going to need to move that cargo stop. Well, we've got four people who want to go the distance, so... Um, we've got that... 19 people on there so that sh might make this tram route get this tram route back into profit um see obviously this side is a bit uphill so we're not getting the full 60 kilometers an hour but that's okay. Um, we're, oops, someone's crossing the road there. And he got run over. Nearly got into profit. But we are making profit overall. That's good. I think that route will build up over time. And I've got completely carried away. I've gone over time on this video again. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, we're, we will work on getting some goods into Birkenhead. And possibly working on actually upgrading. Trying to reinforce. No, no eaton has gone down again. Uh, I think we're going to need to try and get things here. Um... It says Dunneaton needs 123 tools, but I bet you the um, this guy doesn't think that. No, he still thinks he's only 60. Well, we'll try and sort that out in the next part. And just to give you a quick overview, um, our craft is making a tidy profit. Our ships are still making a profit. We've still got a little bit of problem with the trains. It looks like our new... Gainsborough new farm is now turning a profit because it's it's carrying lots of grain. Uh, we do need to work on this area here. It says Cleeton, Blanford, Nuneaton. We probably need to look at that one. Uh, tram routes, well, we're going to need to work on those. Um, truck routes, we've got two truck routes that are losing money, but overall think things are going quite well. So as I say, in the next part, we'll be working on just kind of tinkering around the edges trying to make the economy more efficient because we're going to have to make the best of what we can with the industries that we've got available but until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>